All right, so in this video, I'm going to describe um, and demonstrate safe operation of a mix mill or a feed mixer as well as an auger. So here behind me, we have our tub mixer by Supreme International. So let's just jump into this video because why not? Okay, so when you've got the tractor going and your PTO is going, you obviously don't want to put your hand there as per any other um, PTO shaft. When you are hauling the mixer, as we haul it while it is mixing to go feed the cattle or go feed the sheep, whatever we're going to do, um, you always want to make sure that it's hitched in right. Um, up here we have our scale and same with you right there. So you want to keep an eye on your weight. Typically we feed 8,000 pounds. Um, Dad doesn't want to go too much more. Uh, we put four silage bales in here and that is about 8,000 pounds. We have sorghum, alfalfa, um, oats and barley, and millet, typically. So here we've got our conveyor and the hydraulic lift to open up the door. Or the, and um, yeah, you really don't want to touch the hydraulic lever while it, or the hydraulic while it is moving. You obviously do not want to be close to the mixer while it is moving because it tends to rock. Um, so yeah, when you are running the conveyor, you don't want to be here. Usually we have feed coming out of here, so the um, conveyor is moving constantly once you turn it on. So don't get your hand caught in here because that's your goner. That's it, no more hand. Um, when this opens, you don't want to be around here because your feet is coming out quite quickly. Uh, you don't want to have your hand underneath here while somebody's closing it. Um, typically, you don't want to have your hands anywhere near here when it is open and we are feeding because there is blades inside the mixer, which I will show you later. Um, oil levels, you want to check those often. Check your tires, make sure they're not flat. This here is a lever for the blades and the um, feed inside when you are mixing. So basically you push it in and it holds the feed better so that your um, blades can chop the feed up finer. Um, right now we've got it pulled out because we don't need it that fine. Um, once again, your tire, um, the conveyor, there's another lever like that. Your hydraulics, you always want to make sure that your hydraulic lines are fine and that none of them are um, leaking because hydraulic fluid is not a good idea when you are feeding animals. Again, your conveyor, so basically the feed just comes out this way and it dumps into a bunk um, or just on the ground, whatever we're feeding. Uh, yeah, so you just, exactly what the warning signs say here, you want to make sure that everything's greased nicely. Here's another hydraulic that you don't want to be around when it is going. Um, yeah, so I will just climb up and take a look on the inside. So you've got your, you've got your ladder here for safety reasons, obviously they don't have enough rings to, or whatever to climb all the way up because nobody wants you going into the tub because yeah it's kind of dark in here because it's kind of dark outside but um if you can kind of see it we've got the blades um yeah i'm really short i can hardly see in here like i'm like five two so this is a little problem but that's fine um yeah so that's the inside of the tub you don't want to be in there when it is going yeah so that's how it's gonna be okay so originally my plan was to do the feed mixer over there right there yeah and an auger but I've got a mix mill right here so we're just gonna go over that um, because it's it's right here it's nice and close so why wouldn't you do that right um, so yeah my plans change quite often whatever once again the obvious you don't want to have your hand around the PTO um, when you do park the mix mill you want or whatever we're gonna call this chop whatever 
Um, you want to make sure that your jack is good when you are towing it. You want to make sure that your hitch is in place right. Um, you want to keep your hands away from those gears because and those chains because that's how people lose fingers. So yeah. Um, yep. This is green goes in here. Mix is in there. Turns into chop. Why not? So you can kind of see the chop here. Um, I think I have a wood tick crawling on my arm, but that's fine. Once again, you want to check your tires. We've got it blocked back here because when we are mixing or augering out of here, this um, end tends to go down a lot, and instead of it hitting the ground, we just put boards there. So, yeah, we've got the auger here. So it comes out of here, goes down there, it comes up this little auger here. It dumps into there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's about all. We've got the crank to make it higher. Right now, Dad's kind of got it the height that we can drive the mixer underneath and just dump chop in there. And then we mix chop in with our silage bales. And yeah, so yeah, you can crank it to whatever height you want, lower it. That's where the auger sits. Um, yep, so that's, that is our two mixers for feeding, yep, and that is all, and there's Pepper, bye Pepper, yeah, okay, see ya!